Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us here at the Lonely Draft League. We are in season five of our D Max League's championship matchup. We have Blaze versus Thriller, the Albany Abomasinos and the Iowa Joltions. And I am Zeminon joining you here doing some commentary for this matchup. Uh, this is one of one of our three matches here. This is kind of our mid our mid level uh, division within the Lonely Draft League. But luckily for both Blaze and Thriller, because they've made the finals here in uh, in the D Max leagues, they are actually being promoted to the G Max League next season. So no matter what happens here, both of our players are winners. Also, shout out to MLG Poplio as the other D Max player uh, going into the G-Max next season, joining us in the big league. So I am going to chat in the, or I'm going to talk in the chat saying that these players are ready to go. And I'm going to talk with you here, uh, try to talk about the different plays that Blaze and Thriller are going for in this matchup. I've been playing, uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, I've been playing competitive Pokemon since 2014, mainly within the video game championships. Uh, so I'm more of a doubles player, but back, back in gen seven, I got into the draft league singles scene and I've been playing ever since in the lonely draft league. It's definitely the one I've bonded with the players the most. So let's get into it. Turn zero or turn one, whichever you want to call it. Your lead in this matchup between thriller and blaze is going to be Togekiss and the Gastrodon. Gastrodon, a really strong Pokemon in this format, not worrying about hidden power grasses. But right away, the Dynamax from Thriller with the uh, the Max Airstream and the Clear Smog Tech from Gastrodon uh, is going to get rid of that speed boost, and that's huge. Uh, the only the only problem is unless this Gastrodon also has Protect, as he just revealed leftovers, uh, he's it doesn't look like he'd be able to hang on uh, since it took since that Gastron took 59% from the first max airstream from this Togekiss. It's actually a big deal from Thriller on turn one blowing his Dynamax because a lot of you know a lot of times singles they say uh, he who Dynamaxes first down or loses. So uh, if he doesn't if Thriller doesn't find a way to take advantage of these two remaining turns of Dynamax, it's actually going to put him in a severe disadvantaged state um we do have the information though that blaze because he has brought his grim snarl that is his gigantamax pokemon so even though komoo is one of his dynamax captains uh basically how we run it in the in the ldl is you get two dynamax captains that could be anybody on your team and then each each team gets a, a gigantamax captain and the caveat is if you bring your g max captain no matter what those other Pokemon that are your D-Max captains are not allowed to Dynamax. So uh, that's really kind of, that's like the trade-off because G-Max sometimes can be more beneficial than the, the Dynamax can be. So this Kamoa is not able to Dynamax in this matchup. He's going to have to, Blaze will have to focus on his Grimmsnarl. I think, I think Thriller really doesn't want to switch out here at all. He's not going to waste his Dynamax. So the question is really on, on Blaze's side. Can does this Gastrodon have access to protect? Is he able to uh, to endure a second max airstream? Does he switch into the Jirachi, who would uh, who would resist the airstream, but then might get hit with a max flare on the third turn of Dynamax if the Togekiss is holding Heat Wave? I, I think that same question applies to the Vikavolt, who would who could take a neutral max airstream, but then the next turn would be able to take the max flare. So. Uh, Blaze really does not have access to enough information right now to uh, uh, to stop <laughs> this Togekiss right now, and I think that's why you're that's why you're seeing such a long pause on this turn from from Blaze because he doesn't know if I let my Gastrodon go down, then I'm letting him get that plus one speed boost that I tried so hard and I prepped so hard to to counter against by having Clear Smog on on the gastrodon uh so this is obviously a pivotal <laughs> turn i don't want to i don't want to say the game the game hangs on the edge of turn two when it's both six to six uh but, but it might if the if this togekiss can really get boosted up to a point obviously camello can't take and take a, a flying attack the serena can't take one either so he will switch into the jirachi here 
uh, and that will give Togekiss the plus one to its speed thanks to the Max Airstream. Now Jirachi resisting Max Airstream. Uh, uh, if he does, if Togekiss does not have access to Max Flare, if he didn't bring the Heat Wave, if he didn't pack a fire move on it, this Jirachi's in a pretty safe spot. Um, we did not see leftovers there, so the Jirachi could potentially be choice scarfed. Uh, but instead, this Max Airstream will give the Togekiss a knockout, and that is the first KO here in the finals in the D-Max League. Goes to Thriller and his Togekiss. Togekiss now plus two speed. That's actually really huge because if the Jirachi was choice scarfed, it leads me to believe it's not scarfed uh, because last turn if he was scarfed he could have went for a potential uh iron head into it to do super effective damage to the togekiss but since he didn't go for that now it doesn't even matter if jirachi is scarfed because this togekiss will be faster thanks to that second max airstream um so i think the i think it's i'm just wondering what blazes answers are to a a speed boosted togekiss right now like i said earlier komo cannot take does not want to take a flying attack the, the serena doesn't want to take one and the jirachi just barely hangs out from that heat wave so he did play it smartly there he had to preserve the jirachi uh so the heat wave would not take it out and it just barely hung on now the grim snarl was down to under half of his hp grim snarl has to go for the g max and the dazzling gleam from togekiss making it not matter even with the boost to his hp that grim snarl goes down without ever going for an attack i wonder if it was prankster grim snarl if he had thunder wave or something that he could have tried to counter with a priority prankster move to stop this togekiss but it looks evidently that blaze did not have it and now blaze is two pokemon down his jirachi uh is on its last legs at three percent air slash critical hit into the flinch on vikable and that is just huge uh i don't want to i don't want to spell gg before it's actually time but uh that is really rough a crit flinch air slash of course that is what you're playing for when you have the togekiss you really do want to go for those secondary effects thanks to serene grace uh and now either with air slash or with heat wave uh this is <laughs> this vika Volt is really not gonna be able to take a hit um and you see blaze actually typing gg in the chat somewhat somewhat jokingly and thriller apologizing for the crit although this is the final thriller like you don't want to you don't want to mess around here if you, you'll take every crit that you can Dazzling Gleam taking out the Vikable. It is now six to three. That Jirachi is down to three percent HP, so it's essentially six to two. And his two full health Pokemon are weak to the air slash, and the Power Whip misses. Serena, ten percent of the time, really coming in, uh, not coming in close there, failing on its face with that missed Power Whip. Uh, probably depending on how it's trained, could knock out this Togekiss. And uh, <laughs> I feel so bad for Blaze right now. He all he has left is his is his Kamo'o. Um you do have to you do have to wonder what's the option as Dazzling Gleam takes out the Serena here. It's pretty much just Kamo'o left. Um building your team of six around where you know his Togekiss is one of his Dynamax users. Um, and by you bringing Grimmsnarl, that means that your Komo'o cannot Dynamax, has to eat that times for super effective Dazzling Gleam, and Jirachi goes down, and that is a 6-0 sweep for Thriller, and congratulations to Thriller. He is your uh, Lonely Draft League Season 5 D-Max League champion. Uh, a 6-0 dominant performance there it literally can't get better in differential than a 6-0 and togekiss never leaving the field and he didn't even have to show a single other pokemon so that's just a that's a really unfortunate way for blaze to go out but all hope is not lost for blaze as he uh, is also moving on to the gmax league next year so hopefully he can get his his revenge on thriller in the majors so Again, congratulations to Thriller and his his amazing 6-0 uh, Togekiss. And, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a little worried next season facing off against him, seeing uh, if he drafts Togekiss again. But uh, for now, this is Zemanon signing off, and I will see you in the Lonely Draft League's other two 
finals uh, championship matches once in the GMAX league and then once in our lower division in the Z move league. It's going to be really fun.